So the tailor-made stealth driver, I've managed to get my hands on one of these. Today what I wanted to do was talk through the recommended retail price of the product, the features and benefits that it has to offer, then I want to hit some balls with it on the simulator as well. So if you want to find out how I get on, then make sure you stay tuned for the rest of the video. So welcome back everybody. I know it's been a long time coming. I haven't uploaded a video in nearly a year now, so I'm so, so sorry. However, I'm getting back on the YouTube game. I'm gonna be uploading every single week. So if you haven't already done so, please hit the subscribe button because I haven't forgotten. As soon as I get to 5K subscribers, I am gonna do a giveaway. It's not gonna be the TaylorMade Sim 2 anymore. It is gonna be the Stealth Driver. So just make sure you've subscribed and comment on one of my videos for your chance of winning. So visually, one of the first things I noticed looking at the driver, it has changed in color. Used to be, obviously, the blue, silver, white element to it is now black and red. You'll notice that the face is completely red now as well, which really does stand out. So the first question you're probably asking yourself, well, what driver head do I need? Well, there are three different heads available in the TaylorMade Stealth Driver. They have the traditional head, they have the HD head, and they have the Stealth Plus. The Stealth Plus is the adjustable driver, so you can move the weight from the heel to the toe and try and change those ball flights. You can also have the Stealth HD, which is more of a draw bias driver. So if you struggle with that left to right slice and you want to keep it a little bit straighter or have that right to left movement, you're looking at the HD or you've got the traditional as well. The traditional drivers come in at $469.99 alongside the HD one, or you've got the adjustable one, which is the Stealth Plus, which is coming at £499.99p. So right, the big change that you're probably gonna notice straight away is that bright red face. So for the last 20 years, they've been using this titanium head. However, TaylorMade have switched it up and they have gone for a 60 times carbon fiber face. What they say about this carbon fiber face is actually that the ball speed numbers are gonna be a lot, lot higher. The carbon fiber face is actually 44% lighter, which means there's gonna be even faster ball speeds leading to more distance off the tee. So what does a twist face technology mean? Well, it actually means that if you don't hit the ball in the middle of the club face, it's gonna help promote the ball to come back to the center of the fairway. If you hit it at the heel, it's actually gonna move the ball a bit to the right, or if you hit it at the toe, it's gonna to move a bit to the left. To be honest, all modern day drivers will have this twist face technology. So what I also notice on the back of the head, it's got that speed pocket element to it. So again, that's designed for even more distance off the tee. Everything about this driver is screaming added distance, higher ball speed numbers. We're gonna put it to the test in a minute and see if those numbers are true and whether I can actually get the ball going any further or not. So the jacket's off, is getting quite nice and hot. I've just hit 10 shots with a TaylorMade Sim 2 driver, just so I could roughly see what my ball speed average was. So I was roughly around 160 ball speed with my driver distance going around the 280 mark. Um, just so we could get a little rough guide. What I'm actually gonna do is I'm gonna put my shaft into the TaylorMade Stealth head so we keep it nice and fair. And then what I wanna do is hit around 10 shots just see what the performance element's like. Does it feel nice off the club face? I'm really interested to see how it feels off the face. So let's give it a hit and see how we get on. So we're gonna hit 10 shots now with the TaylorMade Stealth Driver. I wanna know how it performs and how it feels off that club face. The first thing that I wanna have a look at is the address position. So for me, I'm so used to the TaylorMade Scene 2, it looks completely different at the address. So when I'm actually setting up to this ball, because the head is black, Obviously, I'm not used to that with the Sim 2 product. Obviously, that used to be like a blue, white, and silvery look to it, whereas this is completely black. It's got the red face. You can't see the red face at the setup position. Um, so let's hit some shots now and see how we get on. So a great first shot there. Turning over a little bit in the air, but it was a great strike. Ball's carried, uh, how far have we carried? Let's have a look on the GC quad. Ball has carried a total of 268 yards. He's traveled in total 288 yards and ball speed was around 5.6. Just as a guide, my ball speed with the TaylorMade Sim 2 was around the 155 mark. So again, it's not much of a difference and I've caught that really well, to be honest with you. So again, 288 for me is a very good driver. I'm roughly around the 285 mark to 280. So yeah, good drive to start us off with. 
Right then, shot number two, it felt great off the face by the way. It does feel a little bit different to mine on my Sim 2. I don't know whether that's because of the carbon fibred face. I mean, it did feel, it, did, it felt all right. I'm not gonna complain, it felt decent. Uh, but at the same time, was it groundbreaking? Um, I'd probably say no, but at the same time, it did feel it did feel good. Again, caught it very well there. Uh, carry was 259 carry. It's got a total of 278. Like I say, my driver distance on average is around that 280 mark. So again, backspin was a little high at 3000. Um, Felt nice again off the club face, ball speed 155, but again, it's pretty similar to the scene two so far. Let's hit some more. I tell you what, I'm, I'm creaming this. Uh, whether it's because I'm playing well anyway, I haven't really played much lately, winter time, I haven't really had time to play much golf. Okay, that's finished on the line. So, smack bang center on the line on that last one, total distance 280. Uh, side spin was 209, so really didn't really move much in the air. Back spin was around 2,800, so spinning it pretty well. Ball speed 154. So again, I've played three shots here, and it's very similar to my Sim 2. Have I seen record-breaking, ground-breaking technology with this new carbon fibre face? Three shots in, I'd say probably not. Let's just hit a few more. So that one, I caught out the heel. I didn't actually hit that one very well, but it still flew very far in the air. So I mean, in total, it's gone 285, 286, 286 in total distance. It came out the heel. Uh, whether that twist fix pace technology made it a little better, um, because again, I didn't strike it very well at all. Still felt okay off the club face though when it came off. Backspin was good. And again, ball speed was about 152. So. For me, out of the shots I played, there hasn't been massive changes. Let's just play one more. Right, let's go one last one. So struck it really well. It's just leaked out a little right, gone quite high right and spinny. Uh, in terms of the distance, carried about 255-ish. Uh, got a total distance of 271. Leaked a little right though for me. Ball speed around the 153 mark to be fair. So, I mean, I've played five shots there with the Stealth. I haven't seen massive changes between my Sim 2 and Stealth. However, what I would probably see is that if I've got an older model, for example, the Sim or even before that, there will be a bit of a change. Um, for me, the new red carbon fibre face, it felt nice off the club. I wouldn't say it felt massively different than my Sim 2. Um, it probably felt a little bit softer. I think that's the best way of trying to describe it. Yeah, whereas my Sim 2 feels a little bit more tinny. I think that's the best way to try and describe the feeling off that club face. Um, but again, it's up to you to try and see what you want to hit and whether it changes your game. Obviously, in golf, everything's so personal. Obviously, everyone spins the ball different. Everyone swings it different. Everyone's going to hit the ball completely different to one another. So, again, make sure you get a fit in before you buy the Stealth Driver. Overall, though, for me, I thought it performed really nicely. I played the Sim 2. This is a top driver. This is the Stealth. But, again, it's very similar to my Sim 2. Will I swap from the Sim 2 to the Stealth? Probably not, to be honest. I actually like the Sim 2. Um, I'll, I'll just keep it. It's not probably worth me spending the money on the Stealth Driver. However, if you haven't got a tailor-made driver already, I would definitely recommend giving it a go and seeing how you get on. Hopefully you all enjoyed the video and you, watched, uh, you enjoyed me watching it a few shots. If you did, please leave it a like and make sure to stay tuned for the next video.